Hello viewers, this is Wagadaru now taking you through today's tutorial on calculations for a projectile projected horizontally from the top of a cliff. So consider a particle projected horizontally from the top of a cliff of height h at point a with a velocity u as shown below. So this is a cliff, the top of a cliff is z at o, the height of the cliff is h and the velocity of projection is u. It is horizontal, entirely horizontal. Because it is entirely horizontal, it means vertical component of that velocity will be zero and the horizontal component will be u. So now using the first equation of motion for horizontal motion, we shall get vx equal to ux plus. Now a for horizontal motion is zero times t. So in the in a, and remember ux is u, so that means that vx is the same as, is equal to u. For vertical motion, vy is equal to uy plus gt. So uy is 0, implying that vy is equal to gt. So when you combine the two, you shall be able to come up with the velocity at any time t. It's it can be got from Pythagoras theory, so v squared plus vy squared, everything under root will give the velocity at any time t. Then beta is the angle or the direction of that velocity at that point. So for this beta, this will be the opposite, this will be the adjacent. So tan beta will be equal to vy over vx. So that's how they get the velocity at any time t and its direction. For total time spent in air and total horizontal distance. Now total time spent in air, the time taken to move from O to B. And the total horizontal distance is A, B. So how do we get them? We shall consider a second equation of motion for vertical motion. So SY is equal to UYT plus a half GT squared. So S is equal to positive H. Positive because the motion is entirely downwards. So we take downward motion to be positive. Plus, sorry, h, that is the displacement, positive h, equal to ui, ui is zero like we already saw, plus a half gt squared. So when you substitute and make it the subject, you shall come up with t equal to square root of 2h over g. So that is the formula for time spent in air. For the horizontal distance traveled, we shall still use the second equation of motion for horizontal motion. So Sx is equal to Uxt plus a half times zero. Zero is the acceleration. Remember horizontal motion, acceleration is zero. Times t squared. So the whole of this goes away and remain with Sx, which is x total, equal to Ux, which is u, times t, which is time spent in air. So we shall use the above equations to come up with a solution to this problem. A particle is projected horizontally at 36 meters per second from a point 122.5 meters above the horizontal surface. Find Roman 1, the time taken by the particle to reach the surface of, and the horizontal distance traveled in the time. Roman 2, the magnitude and direction of the velocity of the particle just before it hits the surface. So this will be the height where the particle is, and this will be the initial velocity of projection. So time spent in air is given by the formula square root of 2h over g. So substitute h is 122.5 and g is 9.81 in physics. It will give us that our time as 4.9975 seconds. Then the also one is the horizontal distance, which is given by u times time spent in air. So u is 36 and time is 4.9975. You'll come up with 179.91 meters. For Roman 2, they wanted the velocity, so we have to first get the horizontal component, which is equal to u, 36, and the vertical component, which is gt, so 9.81 times 4.9975. We'll come up with 49.0255 meters per second. So when you draw a diagram, remember the motion is entirely horizontal. We took positive to be downward motion. So in this case, 36 and 49 is there. Using Pythagoras theory, we shall come up with our V as 60.8235 meters per second. 
and for the direction bit when this is beta this will be the opposite this will be the adjacent so tan beta will be equal to opposite over adjacent which is that and therefore our beta will be 53.7097 degrees so therefore the velocity of the particle just before it hits the surface is 60.83 sorry 8235 meters per second in the direction 53. Point 7097 below the horizontal so that brings us to the end of our lesson thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel roa e-learning platform thank you